Bleeding Burgundy Podcast, a Washington football podcast by fans for fans, with your hosts, Jesse Martin. You want to play with us? Okay. Say hello to my new friend. John Taylor. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. And Keith Gray. The king. He on majesty. And now here's your host. John Damon. Hey, everybody, and welcome once again to another blabbermouth edition of the Leading Burgundy podcast. I'll tell you what, man, uh, it's been a big day here in Washington and uh, all other places in the rest of the world that are interested in the shit that we do. And I'm John Taman, your host for the day. I've had a very hard day, so I'm going to drink this delicious shot of uh, Tito's handmade vodka. So, hang on. Tito's. My oh, wife's favorite good. drink. Oh, man, I'll tell you what, Tito's, you should think about uh, sponsoring this show. Oh, that was good. She mixes it with Diet Dr. Pepper. Okay. Really? Hey, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. I got to tell you, the, the Dr. Pepper commercials with Little Sweet and them cracked me up. That little guy, man, that dude tracks me up. Anyway, uh, I, like I said, I am John Taman. I'm the host of your wonderful show here, and I'm joined by my hairy friend, Jesse, who I'm sure has already ordered a set of Washington pe- uh, Commander's bikini briefs. <laughs> Did you uh? Did you get the <laughs> not, not quite yet? They're, they're they're not in stock yet. They, oh, they ran out of stock, so it's on back order. I, I would recommend get the yellow pair. They hide stains rather well. So uh, and of course by my grumpy friend Keith Gray, who's happy having absolutely none of this. You can, as you can tell, look at this man. Oh, geez, you are so depressed. Oh, I'm not depressed. Not You're the angry. Sl- not the slight. I'm not even angry. You're not angry. Well, no. Here. Join me not, in a delicious Tito's, and we will get angry together. How about that? Yeah, now I, I'm not even angry. I listen, Jesse. Me, Jesse, you probably should just go first. Well, I'll tell you what. We will discuss. I'm unbothered by Jeff. all this shit. So, um, and, and if you guys, you know, on, on past episodes, have made fun of the fact that I constantly talk and talk, I'm probably not your guy today because. I got a lot of shit I could say today and bore a lot of people. So Jesse, if you want to take the honors and go ahead and give your yes, opinion please. on today, I'm. Let's I, I the think worst I, I, secret I, in Washington since Bill Clinton got a blowjob. I uh, probably am on the uh, the unpopular side, uh, at least the social media, and we know social media is. Uh, a very minuscule uh, part of, of Washington of fanhood and, and, and basically any fanhood. Um, I had put out last week that whatever name was going to be picked, I wasn't going to like, I think Daddy everybody, knows. everybody knows that. Um, and Joey called or, or is it Zoe called? Um, everybody knew that I, 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 this no name would be able to mount, uh, and have the meaning that the Redskins meant to to me. So there was not going to be a name out there that I was going to like. I was going to hate every single one of them. And I don't like the commanders. And But the facts are the facts. We knew it was going to be the commanders definitely, you know, obviously from last night. We, we And people have been talking we knew about it. it before for, that. We, people have been talking about it. It's the commanders. Big deal. Guess what? I hated the fucking Washington football team when they first announced that. But get, it grew on me. And that's how it's going to do with every other fan that stays with this fan base. It's going to grow on them. It's going, everybody's going to get used to it. It's going to happen. Um, the crying and whining and, and, and the shit that I've seen, I'm finally done with the scene. If you are, good riddance, okay? Oh, they're going to scream and holler. And I got to say, I don't think there's anything that won't grow on you. That's, that's probably true. Uh, the fact of the matter is winning will cure everything. And that's how you have to look at it. It's up to uh, the, the, the coaches in the offices, the players on the field to really turn this thing around. Uh, the jerseys, uh, I, I can, I personally don't mind the jerseys. The white ones are kind of a little funky just because like of the, uh, uh, the contrast of the, of the colors with the, bur- uh, the burgundy um, uh, on the white. But I love the black one. I absolutely love it. Everything except for the W on the helmet. I've been screaming for a black alternate uh, a jersey combination for for years and years and years, and finally we have. And they them. listened. So they listened. I'm, they said you said they didn't listen to the fans, and they did. They heard you. I I am uh, I'm 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 excited. That's not going to be a main color. They're probably going to wear it maybe once a year, but uh, 
you know, with the rollout, I mean, did we expect fireworks? What did we expect with that, man? I, <laughs> I, 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 I think that's it was what, on the Today Show. Good. It was on the Today Show or on next oh, yeah. week's televised show. Um, Which, I'm by not, the way, was an awful decision simply because I had to watch the fucking Today Show this morning. God, what a gun jump. Jesus Christ. I yeah, think the I, only thing we can be like, thankful for is that they didn't roll it out on The View. Like like me, I, I could care less. That, that that didn't bother me whatsoever. No, um, just having to watch that happy talk crap. I can't deal with that shit. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I I get that, I, but I understand why they did it. They wanted to get out to the biggest audience possible, and there's really no oh, sure. to the, to the day today show makes sense. I like the fact that you had the old, you had the new, and you had the future with um, uh, Jason Wright, uh, Doug Williams, and John uh, John Allen sitting right there. Uh, other than that, it was kind of black. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not as up in, in up in arms as a lot of people seem to be on social media. And everybody knows I hate the name Commanders. You know, I've said oh. this 500 times on this podcast. I, I, but I hate I would hate every other fucking name that it uh, could have been too. Social media name. is designed for people to get up in arms and get pissed off about shit. Well, that's, you got to realize that. That's, that's, that's just, just what people like to do. So, all I right, heard, Keith, let's hear what you had to think. You, I mean, you've got plenty on your mind, I can tell. You look very pensive. So, the name is not an issue. The name's been talked about for ever, right? As mm-hmm. a possible different alternative if Red Wolves could not be the name. I mean, I sat there at night at camp in the, the what do you call them, Jesse? The, the, the B2Bs? What are they called? The, the Aaron, pajamas. Airbnb's. Airbnb's, Airbnb's Airbnb. Yeah. Yeah, I don't stay in that shit. That was the first time. <laughs> so I sat there and I couldn't sleep because I literally, like, researched the name Commanders, right? And I wanted to figure out, is that an alternative name to the fan favorite is that an alternative name that, that they're actually going to use? And what I did was, is I tried to use logic, right? Oh, this was good not, luck. no, I have logic. I can think logically. I can make decisions logically. Even if I don't agree with it, I can be logical about something. So I, I did a little bit of research. Okay. Things were making sense to me. And then when I put it out into the to the the Twitterverse, right? Of course, people ain't wanting to hear my shit because Red no, Wolves was not. the name. Hold on, but because Red Wolves wasn't the name, eh? nobody was wanting to listen to my bullshit. Okay, fine. But what I put out there was the truth. Their actual t- tie-ins were Commanders. It's a safe name. It represents the military. It is very That's safe. What part of D- yeah. DC is right? And okay. I can vibe with that because I grew up military 20 years, watched my dad go to a nine month war. Right. And and really the war was only, you know, 48 hours, but it still relates. I still respect the military. I recognize that, that that is what gave me the life that I currently have today. And so I couldn't be more thankful. So the name commanders was never a problem. Is it basic? Sure. Is it strange to people? Sure. Because it's not Redskins. Yeah, right? It's new. It's strange. It's new. It's it's still, it's new. Yeah, it's new. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's fine. We'll get everyone will get over the name quick. Even if we aren't winning, once people see what the team is trying to do with this name and the traditions that they have announced that they are going to talk about a fight song, they're talking about uh, getting a mascot out there. Listen, I'll apply for that job. I've been a mascot the whole entire time. I've been on Twitter, right? <laughs> so right. they talked about a mascot and that's eventually going to happen. But this shit isn't going to happen overnight. It's going to yeah. take time for these things to be implemented with the team. It's, it's, got, it's got to be natural too. With, with well, it 100%. Well. Y- y- you well, know? Yeah. That was you can't my force question. a fight song. Well, and that was my question that I had that I, that I kind of put out there privately is I wasn't around when HTTR was initially introduced. I know where I'm old and neither was I. Right. So no one in the fan base really knows how traditions actually get started. Right. So now it's going to be interesting when we move forward to see how they're going to implement a song, 
mm -hmm. or uh, take command or go command go, which that's not one. But yeah. again, take command. It's going to be I, I'm interesting okay to that. see how all this plays out. But now, now I'm kind of I'm I'm going a little bit more forward, and I'm telling you, I got a lot of shit to say today, guys. So I, I don't sure. like talk. Then listen, talk. and so, and I don't even have it in my head like divide you like timeline wise. So, okay, so everything I just said, well and wonderful, I'm on board with, right? It is what it is. As a good um, ambassadorship, but. I cannot ignore the fact of the fucking laziness that went into this. Okay. The stop the commanders ah. with the two lines lazy as fuck. We don't even have a real logo. That W logo is yeah, that, trash. That, seriously. As a graphic designer, that's about the first thing you can come up it with. Is, is that. It is basic. It's as the fuck. first one. It's a piece now, of origami. It's folded paper. Is it the worst logo in the league? No, it's not. Can I learn to like it? Yes. It was the same thing when the other W font was introduced. I didn't like that at first. I'm like, what the fuck is this wing shit, right? But it started to grow on you a little bit because we didn't have anything else used to it. but that. They so get used to it. The W, trash, sorry, it's trash, but we'll get used to it. And then eventually, ask me a year or two years from now, I might like it, right? So- our minds are subject to change sure. based upon the opinions that we currently have today. And I'm not going to, I got to tell you, no, that's not the way the modern American works anymore. Once you have an opinion, even if it starts when you're six years old, you better keep it your whole life or you're a flip flopper. You can't well, trust that's, what, that's the point that I was getting ready to make is <laughs> oh, then you, you introduce it to the socials and you become a flip flopper. And right. that's one thing that I don't get on to people about as far as flip flopping, because opinions can always be subject to change. That's sure. right. We have mine. I that's started right. warming up to the washington football thing so, i started warming up to that w me too, me too. right and yeah. a lot of us did and i don't want to say that i don't want to contribute it well because we went to the playoffs bitch we no. went to the playoffs with a seven and nine bullshit yeah. ass record yeah. no in it, a division it, it, it that became was natural it, it became natural to say and, and it was just it was there and it's 100%. been there for two years so so right. obviously right. had seen I, it it'll be the and, same with this yeah. and it'll be the same with this yeah so check that off the box I'm good with that. Can I, can what I just I'm say not something? good with? Okay, actually, what I am good. Go ahead, Jesse. You have. No, I, I just wanted just to touch on the logo thing just for a second. Absolutely, um, I don't want to take over. Uh, the I think this logo, because uh, you see three of them on the three different uniforms. I think that can evolve as well too. Sure. Remember, this is just the the initial rollout. Sure. Not everybody's going to like it, and and I think this is it's going to be part of the process. The logo. Like you said, the mascot, the fight song, this is all going to be uh, a part of the process. And I th think in the next two to three years, you're going to see little tweaks and changes here Absolutely. And too. It, of it's course. happened with other teams. Now, hopefully with yeah. the uniforms yeah. too. Because yeah. frankly, that white jersey to me looks like a, a, a Buccaneers jersey from like 1999 that they dug out of a fucking dumpster somewhere. I will that say That is tradition. not burgundy. That is not fucking burgundy. Is slightly overrated these days. When you look at the other teams in the NFL sure. who have made tweaks to their logos, some oh everybody changes uniform, right? Everybody changes. So there's things. going to be change tweaks. over time. This is not all set in stone. Again, no. this is where it's subject for opinions to be okay to be changed because this is just the beginning. This isn't. 80 years into it yeah, like it was yeah. with the Redskins well, where nothing with was changed. even 80 years into the Redskins, no, it did change because if you take a look at like well, the did, feather yeah. helmet, the feather the helmet R. changed to the R for Vince Lombardi and then it changed to the Redskin. But even that changed Fair over enough. time. You look, yeah. you look oh, at our yeah. two logo, a little bit the, tweaks. the feathers curl. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know, right. there were, there's always tweaks and there's always adjustments to things. Fair and there's enough. nothing wrong with that. Fair yeah, enough. I, I, and the w, again, I'm okay with it because again, I'm not a traditionalist, right? Like I had been screaming, look, I know that these jerseys, we've seen them all our lives. It's time to get into time. the modern era. It was time. That's fine. Okay, That's it was fine. time. And they so, could have done better with the white one, though. I'm well, sorry. hold on. I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting there. All right. And, 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 and I guess the reason why I'm, like, so super aggressive right now is because I feel like if I don't get it out, I'm going to forget to say everything I want to say. And this I'm is afraid. practically the only opportunity that I'm really going to truly speak how I feel. If I go on other podcasts, I'm not getting this deep because 
I, no offense you to them. Can't. I just don't care. We're the people's podcast. So we are the that people's podcast. Said, that's right. Right. So, you know, people are like, no, no, you know what? Fuck the people. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> the people's podcast. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. People's yes, podcast. Fuck ahead. the people. So the people. back to the uniforms. Hey, hey, Cameron. Hey, bud. I don't mind if you play right there, but can you just not make the noises? Thank you. I love you, buddy. All right. Sorry. So no, I don't leave that in there because I okay. want people to know I love I my kid. I thought Jesse's cars were getting stolen. <laughs> I did hear a siren somewhere. Well, all right. So back to the back to the uniform. So when I initially first saw them, my first initial thought was burgundy. Cool. Okay. It's different. not really burgundy though. I'm just you they're know, a little more red now. I know. Well, it still fit the it's, burgundy. It fits the burgundy and gold thing. That yeah. has changed over time too. You look at yeah. our uniform. The color the shades have definitely era, the color changed. shades have changed. Yeah. But again, I'm not a traditionalist, so that type of stuff doesn't bother me, which is why the burgundy jersey didn't bother me. Now we've got the black jersey. I'm okay. I don't I'm not in love with it, but I'm okay with it. And the reason why I'm okay with it was because at least it's something different and it, and I'll add more to that in a minute. It's something different to what we have been used to seeing. And I can yeah. learn to like that even more. Then you get to the white Jersey. That shit is absolute 100% trash. Garbage. Now Garbage. where you can improve it though, is you. at least make the fucking numbers color match with the helmet. How about right. that? Is well, that a tough that concept? They because got that stupid gradient on there that makes the it look yeah, terrible. That, 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 the that's, excuse that's that I've what... been given is that's the DC flag. Listen, I don't know what the DC flag looks like. You want to know why? Because I'm not from there. And to be honest with you, I don't give a fuck what Nobody the DC, a flag, what looks the DC like. flag looks okay? like. Okay, I don't. Well, you know, I don't care about what the thumbnail. Virginia flag looks like. Hell, I live in New Jersey. Fuck that flag too. I don't care what that shit looks like. I'm not from the area, right? And I'm going to circle back to my point here circle just back. a second that white jersey is absolute trash is i don't it, like it at all is it the end of the world no it's not the end of the world because again i'm coming into this with the concept of they can make tweaks later on down the road fine you better because that shit is trash now to the people who are like oh i like it sure okay absolutely. good for you you're entitled to that opinion you're I don't wrong, give a fuck okay. about it, though. I'm using <laughs> yeah, my yeah. Twitter to put out there what I don't like. I'm giving my opinion, right? I'm not going into your timeline and being like, the burgundy, you don't like that? Well, guess what? I love it. Guess what? I don't give a fuck if you like it or don't. I'm putting it out on my Twitter that this is what I don't like. Does it mean it? Does it mean it's right? No. Does it mean it's wrong? No, it's just a fucking opinion. And my opinion is this. You got the black and you've got the white. You were totally getting away from the burgundy and gold. I don't yes. give a fuck what anyone says. And don't. And the reason why I'm fired up about this is not because I can't accept the change. I'm accepting it. But what I'm not accepting is don't bullshit me in some montage about how you're trying to connect the the history no the yeah, fuck you're it. not there's no, you're no absolutely there's no there. trying to get rid of the burgundy and gold and guess what fans that's all we have left okay yep. because you, i could sit here and google shit all day long commander in chief ain't enough for me to tie the history so that's now not, because it's got nothing to do with our team got nothing to do nothing with it. so with that being said though i've already accepted the name i've already yeah. accepted a few other things right okay fine right, right. fine again like jesse said earlier not everyone is going to agree and any name that they could have chose bro, hogs was a stupid fucking name right but it's because the whole fucking time i knew it was going to be commanders that's yeah. why i stopped if you guys didn't know man i am just so fired up over this the reason why i stopped going off on red wolves people because i knew the fucking entire time it wasn't going to be red wolves no, i knew the entire time so why am i going to argue with those guys they're going to believe what they want to believe it was a waste of time so then i'm like i'm going to put commander's feelers out there because guess what out of all those other names it doesn't take a fucking genius to realize guess what 
Those other names suck even worse than Commanders. And now when you take Commanders and you compare it, you compare it to the rest of the NFL team names, it's actually not that bad. It's better than Cowboys. Consider Right. It's uh, actually not that bad. And I actually most, respect most team the names military are version corny. of it. They are. Okay? Yeah. The, the, most team names are, are kind of they're corny. I mean, they're just Packers, that's, Bills, that's what we've been saying, or at least I've been saying that on this this podcast for months. It really doesn't make any difference no. because it's just it's corny it in the end anyway. No. Now, uh, go ahead. To circle back to what I was saying, though, circle this back. shit ain't going to be burgundy and gold much longer. I can tell you that. They it's are already going to black. eventually – they are eventually going to steer away from it. And hey, they could prove me wrong later on down the road, but I don't see it. I see us totally getting away from it. Look, the Washington football team, the one thing that they got right was those fucking jersey colors. That's what they got right. Everything else was yeah. wrong, but they got the jerseys right, even though it was traditional jersey. But you could have taken that same color scheme and you could have done the same thing. What the fuck are you doing with this white jersey? No, what you know. did was you, is you just told us, hey, they did this. that that white burgundy and, you know, uh, a gold outline around the numbers, that shit's trash. We're not using it anymore. That's pretty much what they told me. Right. That's the way that I'm seeing it. And right. look, and so, yes, I'm going to give my opinion. And I know people are going to be like, oh, you're crying. Quit your crying. You know what I got to say to that? Don't give a fuck. Because mm-hmm. I've been around on this earth long enough to know when my fucking pants are getting shimmied down from somebody pulling them down. And that's what they fucking did. And look, I love those people. Some of them. They, they have been nothing but nice and they've been nothing but respectful to me. And I'm trying my damnedest to not shit on them. But they're making it really difficult with this bullshit. Okay? Because you had a whole fucking video montage about this shit and how it ties and connects man stop it stop it what you did was is you put something out there to keep fans keep going and say hey there there's this there's that right okay point closed on that one i'd beat that one to death okay now let me get to the helmets helmets please please get to something because i haven't had a chance to say it oh i know but well that's why i'm saying (laughs) and when when it's your turn john I'm going to shut the fuck up just like I did no, with Jesse. No, and I'm no, going to let you guys talk about, you know, because again, I know that my opinions aren't right and they're not wrong. No, and neither no, is no, anyone no, no, else. No. Hey, that's opinions, man. It's, some we opinions all have are right. opinions. And some Absolutely. opinions are wrong. Helmets. There's a lot of people with wrong fucking opinions. Helmets, fine. No issues with them at all. That W on the black helmet in the front is weird. But listen, with it being it weird, it's at least different. I will okay. give you that. It is different. Yeah, it is different. So I, don't like it. Like a dog. I don't like it, but it's different than it's anything different. else. Yeah. Right. It's different. And listen, I ain't going to bitch about every minor detail of everything. I'm looking at the grand scheme of things as far as uniforms and colors, uniforms and colors needed to hit. And there's people out there that think that it did. And that's fine. I don't believe that it did. I believe that it's there's some major work that needs to be done to represent what we're doing a little bit better because a, a commander's name and two lines ain't ain't getting my jollies going, right? And I'm sorry, but that that weird ass two V's which equals a W, it ain't getting my jollies going. Now, the last thing that I'll say, and this is my final conclusion of my rant. <laughs> The final conclusion. The final conclusion of as my opposed rant. to the third conclusion. <laughs> well, I can uh, have ten more if you want. I'm trying I, I, to be I, nice I, to I, the I podcast. Think, I think you meant points. Huh? Your final point. What Go did ahead. I say before? The conclusion. I don't know. I think no, this is the conclusion conclusions. to your final point. Conclusion to my final point. There you go. There you go. The one thing that I do believe after I kind of like got over the whole. Where did John go? Uh, don't know. Still there, John? Yep, there. All right, just checking on you. There you go. I need to make sure you're listening because I'm sure you're going to have some snarky shit that you're going to say. No, no, I had to look over there and do something. So, I don't want to. My final conclusion of the points I'm trying to make. I will say, you take a look at the differences of all three jerseys. Okay, you take a look at the helmets. You can tell that this team 
or this branding company, this branding company tried to use points of what fans were trying to get. And you could tell that all, hold on, that this was compromised. I was bitching in the beginning, put the stripes back on the helmet. What did they do? I'm not saying they did this because of me. I wasn't the only one. No, a lot of fans stripes. wanted that. A lot of fans, a lot of fans right? Stripes so, have a reason. There's not, they're not just there for looks. They have a reason. Right. Go ahead. Well, I'll tell you that so I said, put the stripes back on the helmet. I mean, you could yeah. have done that as Washington football team. Well, so what did they do? Oh, okay. I don't want to say I. A lot of us said. So what did they do? They put a stripe on the helmet, mm-hmm. right? They started seeing, hey, we're kind of warming up. We like that W. Okay, well, we're going to create our own W, a different W, but kind of similar because it still has those Something wings. That a third grade right? could make. Right. We're going to slap that on the helmet. Eventually, you guys are going to like that. Okay. People were kind of, you know, cool with that. It, it, it beats know, having like, numbers. Let's put, the, let's put the W on the helmet. Well, I believe the numbers, there's going to be numbers the on the back. Yeah, you should have the numbers okay. in the black, black one. But not, the black. On, okay. not, not, not here. Okay, the well, then the black helmet actually has numbers Doesn't on the side. I like the numbers. It's me personally. I like the numbers on the helmet. So I don't mind it as long as it's not an everyday helmet. So if you're yeah. doing that to be different and still incorporate history, because Washington football team is history. Part of the history those now. two years, it's still a part of history. Part of and NFL so history, they yeah. even... I thought that that was pretty different to add those, you know, add that to the helmet and still bring that part of the history, you know, for, for the fans. Cool. So I guess my point I'm trying to make is, is I'm not trying to trash the team in their decision-making. I think they made some wrong decision-making and I think they made some right decision-making, but that's life. That's the way that it's going to be. And eventually we're all going to get over it. Fine. Fine. But I do appreciate because I do feel that they tried to take what a lot of people were saying on socials. And it looks like, and that's why I kind of feel like everything is different because there was so much that fans wanted. Obviously, they're not going to fulfill everything that the fans want on unis and on, on helmets, but at least they were going to take the majority and what makes sense and try to put it together in what they did produce and show today my problem is it doesn't mean that that shit's gonna look good no <clears throat> some of it it's all gonna look different and i'm okay with different but there's some work to do and i'm telling you i am look. not happy with the burgundy and gold removal yeah you got it on the burgundy jersey but that shit barely is anywhere else on it's the barely black jerseys, you got the patches sure looks nice I kind of, I mean, they're going to have to be patches anyways, but again, patches also represent the military. Something I talked about in camp, that circle, okay, I talked about a shield. They put it in a circle. And what did they do? 1932, W, three stars. Makes sense because that's what, that's what uh, 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 is the tie-in, right? Yeah. But then there's jerseys where, I know people are like, oh, they're the wrong Super Bowl numbers. Well, they technically it was the 20, you know, Jason it was the 1991 season. That. But the 92 Techn- Super Bowl, right. Right. When the, the was, year the Super Bowl happened. Correct. Listen, right. I'm not even trying to be that technical, right? I'm not. Like, it is what it is on that. Like, I, I just feel like there's bigger things than that for me to be angry about. But I also see why people are bringing it up because it's the glory days and we want to make sure we get the glory days right. Well, guess what? folks the glory days are done this is a straight up expansion team it's not changing there's no history here the redskins are gone the logo is gone it was all considered the name was a slur they don't want people remembering that shit so they're not going to incorporate a lot of that into this shit they want to move forward with something safe and that's exactly what they did and guess what what i don't like and I'm going to shut the fuck up after this is using fans, a lot of fans and creating deception. Did we all know that it was going to happen? Sure. It was going to happen, but deception was created through this process. And to be honest, I'm not going to get into details, but I will have a private conversation and I will politely and professionally discuss my displeasure in this situation but with that being said those people were super friendly and nice to me 
It's not because I got perks. I barely got any of that, but they were super friendly, super nice. They treated me with respect and I will do the same thing for them. I don't have to agree with what they put out there as a fan, but at the end of the day, I will be super respectful to those people. But I'm not a dumbass. Not a dumbass at all, period. Period. And I feel like they've tried to turn a lot of us into that. Because the Commanders, that name, that name was chosen hella long ago, and there's shit out there to even support that evidence or support the, 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 that, that, that claim, that theory. It's out there. So yeah. fan input, mm, we need to yeah. have a little conversation listen, about that because I'll, – I'll tell you, I'll give you a conversation about that. The last people that you should ever listen to about anything to do with your football team are the fucking fans. All right, the Cleveland Browns, you know that fat ass that sits in the fucking dog pound with his stupid dog mask on, that big fat guy? They brought that guy into the front office to discuss the problems of the team. You want to show yourself as a loser? That's what you do. So, no, don't listen to the fans. You do what you think is best, and you do that, because fans come up with the most stupid fucking ridiculous ideas, and then they scream and holler when you don't implement their stupid fucking idea. The The idea, the idea of it? Was the right idea? Poor sure, executed. it doesn't mean you have to listen to them. You know, Correct, when you see what they say, you don't have to listen. Poorly executed, to period, from start to finish. Did poorly any, executed. Did anybody listen poorly. to Jason this Wright's poorly, interview period. on uh, the B. Mitch and Finley show today? No, because I will not listen to B. Mitch and Finley. I, yeah, I, I, I only, I only listened to it because he was on there, and I, I, I liked what he had to say, and I suggest that if you haven't listened to it yet, go listen. He, he gave a lot of insight um, on, on. Uh, the process and, and yes, you know what he, I want to know they, from Jason. They got, this name, they got this name about a year ago. They also bought uh, about 20 other names because um, this was one sure. of the names that they were uh, considering um, along with uh, as far as like donate uh, donate main names and, and, and trademarks and, and stuff like that, because it was one of the names um, it's, that was all part of the process. Um, but go ahead, John, you need to, you need to give your thoughts on the whole system. Well, for go. one, uh, the one thing I'd want to ask Jason Wright is in that great photograph they took outside of the stadium with all of the, the alumni and everybody there all wearing that really cool jacket. I do like that freaking Letterman jacket. That's a it pretty cool jacket. numbered to 500 and it only goes to... Uh, and he was the uh, only one that didn't get one. <laughs> he didn't. Oh, the only the, one that's that another thing. didn't have one on. Don't put alumni on TV shoveling shit in my mouth. That ain't going to work with me. That might work with some other fans, but that ain't working for me, especially when you have guys who are not uh, affiliated with the team anymore, like Charles Mann, who says, we don't like it, but we got to live with it. Well, he's right. We do. But he carries a lot of weight because he is not – He doesn't have to do what a lot of those guys like Doug Williams has to do or Joe Theismann has to do, where they have to pretend that they like something because they're affiliated with the team. But you was supposed to keep his mouth shut, but he did. Well, of course. But when you've got Charles Mann saying, "Eh, we don't really like it, and a lot of other alumni uh, uh, agree, you're you're damn right they do. Well, that's because they, they can actually come out and say it. Now, if there are some that are like, man, that name is trash. They know they'll never be invited to another alumni event because this is the way this organization is run by that owner. 100% Dan Snyder says, yeah, uh, thanks for your your tenure, you know, before my time, but guess what? (laughs) You're not coming to anything. So guys are real careful with what they say. So I actually respect Charles Mann for actually giving his opinion and saying that he doesn't like it. And that carried a lot of weight with me um, in the sense of, because now I got to sit here and watch the Today Show and watch Joey Theismann, dumbass, talk about the name. And I've got to sit there and listen to Doug Williams, who you could tell he was very like, yeah, I just want to be done with this. Like, I, I don't even want to sit in this chair. Then you got poor John Allen, who sucked into this bullshit. But at the end of the day, he signed a large contract. So everything he has to say, he ain't going to say negative. He's not going to sit on TV and tell people that name trash. That jersey's trash. Or he's not going to be Chase Young and say, ah, I ain't going to fake. I like that jersey. Tell me about that picture with you wearing that jersey, son. Because guess what, Chase Young? You you didn't look happy. And if that was your tough look, you ain't reaching those 15 sacks season like you think you were getting. 
fuck out of here. You know, they probably took about 10,000 photographs while he was standing there and they just picked one. They do. That's how they do it. They turn the lens on and he moves around and then they say that one. They probably All weren't right. even looking at a fucking jersey. They were just like, hey, say something. So, of course, his ass, oh, that's tough. Oh, uh, uh, I ain't even going to fake. What the fuck does that even mean? Use your know. Ohio what the fuck State. Does, this is my final point mean because I don't fucking know. No, because I told you guys that, that if I came on here, that I was going to take the fuck over because this is, and this is why I didn't want to take the fuck over because I got a lot of shit to say. And guess what? Tomorrow, I'll probably be cool again. Tomorrow, I'll be like, whatever. But I'm going to point out the facts. Don't shovel fucking alumni down my fucking throat. Glad don't I started don't tell, don't have alumni sit there and try to convince me. Bitch, I've been on this earth for 43 fucking years and I can tell when I'm getting bamboozled and that shit I ain't trying to listen to because they get paid by the team. Who I will listen to, though, is people who don't get paid by the team. And guess what? They didn't like the name. They know that that shit doesn't tie with the history. So I don't want to see no fucking video montage talking about uh, the traditions and how it's going to fuck. We can't even get the burgundy right. Try to get a word in edgewise. We can't Go even ahead. do that. I'm done. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, right? Now, let's see. Where do I start? Uh, I had to watch the Today Show this morning, which sucks. I can't stand watching the Today Show. However, on the Today Show, I did see when they were talking just before the uh, the name change thing that came up, they had some Olympic people on. Did you notice the nose on that woman? Holy fucking shit. Holy shit, she had a fucking honker on her. But these are the things that I noticed. Um, the white jersey. That's the one thing about this that I really don't like. And I mean, vehemently don't like. And you say, why, why does this happen? And I'll tell you why it happens. I, it's jerking off is why it happens. I'm a designer. I'm a damn good graphic designer, too, as a matter of fact. And what you get with something like that is graphic designers that don't know when to stop. They'd say, oh, we can add one more thing. Oh, let me put this, this gradient in the number and have it fade into white with this mesh with another color of cranberry red over top of the burgundy. And it doesn't even fucking look right. It looks like it's dull brick red. It's not our colors. There's a black outline around it, which we've never had as a fucking part of our color scheme. But now we do. I do agree. They're trying to change the colors. I don't like that. Our colors are burgundy and gold. And it's not got really anything to do with the, the history of the league. There's nobody else in the league with our color scheme. The Chiefs are the closest thing to it, but they have like scarlet and piss yellow and i don't mean like piss yellow i mean like three vitamins and then take a piss yellow it's awful our colors were strong i like that we don't need black in there i don't mind the the black alternative uniform one thing i do really like about the black alternative uniform which i think they should have done on the on the burgundy jersey is they've got commanders over on the side above the heart like it's a military nameplate and i like that that looks pretty freaking cool um, I don't mind the W on the front of the helmet. The W itself is, is bad. When, when you say that whichever company they hired to do this, look, I'll tell you what, this is Dan fucking Snyder. He's got designers in house. He's not paying some outside company to design this shit. His people inside are doing that. And I've told you this before, but I'm a, I'm a graphic designer. I'm in the area. I've worked for sports franchises before in this area. I think and the Nike reputation was the one that design, designed it. They designed it. Mm-hmm. Well, then fuck them, because you guys got to get what the hell are you hiring? People fresh out of fucking art school. Jesus Christ. Who designed it? Nike. Nike. I, I, think, I think they do all uh, the NFL teams. They 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 make a whole bunch. Of, they, the teams tell them what they want and then they come up with the ideas. And then, well, whoever then they, designed it, it's a poor idea. All right. You, you took things and you overdid it. All right. The, 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 that especially on the white jersey, the white jersey to me, it looks like a 1999 Buccaneers jersey. It looks like an Atlanta Falcons jersey. All right. We're not red and black. OK, there's no black in our color scheme at all. It's one thing if you want to have a black alternative uniform, but to put black piping on our, our current uniform. Fuck all that, man. It's a burgundy and gold. Goddamn the Redskins or whoever we are now. It's burgundy. And it's gold. And now it's not. It's dull red, white, and black. It's fucking Jim Zorn designed that shit. Maroon and black. All right? Our colors on that white jersey look more like Virginia Tech than anything. Somebody said on social media today that it looks like something Florida State threw away. And they're right. It doesn't look like us. So I, that's the one thing about this whole rollout that I really hate is that white effing jersey. I think it's D.C. Steve that does the, uh, the mock-ups of the other ones. 
He does some nice work, by the way, as a designer, fellow designer. Nice work. And he did a, a, a rework of the white jersey that I thought looked a thousand times better. He just basically just changed the font a little bit that's on the numbers and filled it in with solid color, which looks much better than that ridiculousness that they gave us in the white jersey. The, the burgundy jersey, the red jersey, commanders across the top of the whole number, uh, you know, move it over top of the, of the heart. I like that. I like, I like it a little better. Yeah. It's too big. I don't mind the two lines and I don't, I, I don't mind that at all. I think that there's something to be said for classic styling and it's, it, it works, but not across the whole shirt. I like over, over the heart, like the military does. If we're going to honor military with our, our logo and our, or with our, with our team and our, our uniform designs, then do that again, because I think that's, a interesting b looking good and c nobody else does it nobody does anything like that and i thought that looked pretty cool uh the w look man you know as a designer once again i hate to beat this into the ground but you don't look at your first fucking design and go oh we're done because that's what that was if you fucking came up with a bunch of designs and that's the one you came up with then everybody that came up with something else gets fired right now how could you have done something worse than that that is the most cheesy, easy thing that you could have done. It's the most, it really is. It's, it, it's ridiculous what they did with that. Uh, there's better ways to do a W. But like you said, I'll get used to it. I'll get used to the name. We are already being called the commies, which I don't think that Dan Snyder understood was going to happen, which I think I said a couple of podcasts ago, they need to hire somebody like us that'll sit there and say, well, this is how we can fuck with that. And this is how we can make fun of you for that. But they don't. They just sit there and go, this will work. And they don't think about, no, most people are assholes and they're going to find a way to pick at you. Uh, Dan Snyder, as far as I'm concerned, can take all of this and shove it up his ass, period. Because again, today on social media, I'm looking at people saying he's only changing because he was forced to by politically correct. Blah, 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 blah. You're loads of shit. You fucking people. Did you just wake up in America today? Do you know how much money this motherfucker has lost with our team? Do you see all of our fans that are gone? He changed because of his own fuck ups. And if anybody in that building other than him thinks that because he changed the name that his fuck ups will go away, you're dreaming. The only way his fuck ups go away is if you put a fucking bucket of cement around his feet and throw him in the ocean. That's it. OK, so. That's that's my two cents on the name, and that's that's pretty much it. It's done. It's over with. I agree now, uh, Keith, a couple of weeks ago, you were saying that it was an expansion team. I was disagreeing. But looking at these uniforms, you're right. I, I agree. We're like an expansion team now with the same players that we had before we were. And I guess I'm going to be a fan of an expansion team simply because I've been a fan of this team for my whole life. And I might as well stay a fan of this team for my whole life because I could just as soon stop loving my kid as much as I could stop loving my team. The yeah, question is, is it, I, is it still my team? I guess it is. I, I still don't, I still don't agree with that. Um, I mean, I, I understand if other fans think so, uh, but I, I, I also, I also is. think that it's very cool on social media to hate things. So I think yeah. a lot of people just it, it, so. uh I I I do not I, like I said at the beginning this is just the first run of these jerseys uh th <laughs> they're, they're going to be around for a while a couple of years at least uh, possibly uh, that I, white I mean, jersey's awful it, it, I understand what they're doing you got to appeal to the younger generation us as older fans as we went through the days uh, of good football uh which has been uh gone for 30 plus years um with little spurts here and there yeah 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 but i'm talking about a consistent winner we we we, we haven't seen it we haven't seen it no. you you do have to try to appeal uh to now the younger fan and it's harder to get younger fans because younger fans want to follow good teams they went to baltimore Exactly. There, there's a winner 50 miles up the road, Dan Snyder, you I, dumb fuck. I, I do not believe, um, and this may be because it's in my heart, um, and I may be naive on this situation, but I do not believe they'll ever go away uh, from the Burgundy and Gold. I can't believe that. I, 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 I just not. can't. They, that white jersey, though, where's the gold? You're right. And, and, and like I said, I, I'm banking this on. To, what I, I said on that was a stretch, and I know that. 
No, I don't think it was because it is very minimalized. There's more gold on that black jersey than on either one of the other. Sure. sure. And, and, and listen, I think maybe if we see that with with the red pants with, with uh, maybe a, a gold stripe or that maybe they can be, they'll do tweaks and stuff. I'm sure, I'm sure they're going to do some tweaks. I, I I can't I can't fathom in my entire 42 years of being a fan them going away from the burgundy and gold i cannot believe that you that, that would it's, that, it's unique yeah it, it, exactly so i i'm not i'm maybe i'm forcing myself not to believe that will ever happen no i'd back down from my stance on that they just uh, minimized i think that i was just you know of sure. course heated heated through what i was trying to say that you know there was probably some stretches in there a little bit and i can say that that one You're is emotional. possibly a bad stretch Hey, um, we said this is going to be an emotional podcast. I said this was going to be an emotional podcast. I sure. get it. No, I get it. But, you know, the, the, the fact of the matter is um, it's, 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 it's different. And, yeah, that's, and what, that's the I, bottom I think, line. I think we got to – the sooner that we, all of us fans, can accept that, you know, we've had two years <laughs> to, to kind of this, – this, Win this on week zone. one. Yeah, yeah we, we, we got to win, we gotta win 2022. now. And if win we win week one, and we'll be happier. If we win, none of this shit matters. Yeah, I agree with that, Jesse. I agree with you, John, on the entire Dan Snyder. You said everything, so I don't even need to comment on that. You're a hundred percent correct uh, with right. that, in my opinion, yeah. at least. No, I agree. I agree too. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Of delicious. Being being that I'm Tito's a handmade uh, vodka. Being that I'm a UCF University of Central Florida graduate. Just to give you guys a little bit of history on that, when I actually went to that school, it was shit, right? Okay, it, 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 it was it, it was a brand new Except school. It was a small school, yeah. It was yeah. A, yeah, it was a very small school when I went. There wasn't a lot, and of course now it's completely different. And then they've been ranked a few times here and there, and been kind of respectable in the in, in football, and you know it, it is what it is. But when I started, it's a good there, academic school though. When you were there, it is. It, it, I mean, it was. I mean, I got a communication degree that's from what there. It's there for yeah. It, like, well, <laughs> I don't do anything communications wise <laughs> except for podcasts, and my degree was from that. But anyways, yes. Yeah, sure. Um, the the point I'm trying to make with that is the the colors there. It was just strictly black and gold, slightly a little bit of white. Well, they they weren't married to that. So the logo on the helmet it just said UCF. Then it mm-hmm. changed. It, mm-hmm. it, it, it changed to a night logo that I mm-hmm. thought was actually pretty badass. Yeah. And the yeah. night logo was there. Then they changed from the black and gold and they were going with white helmets and the white helmets had the state of Florida, or it just had the UCF logo or it had nights in script. So my point is, is you, you see how many things I've just named out of changes that they've done just with their, their design. I can see the same thing, not as much, but I can see yeah. the same thing happening now, but I can't speak on that now because we don't know if that's going to happen. I can only speak upon today and what I see today, what I hope for tomorrow, not specifically Thursday, but the future of tomorrow, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not the future of, you know, Sorry, that was but good. the no, right. But the future of tomorrow, I do hope that there are tweaks. Things do get better. I hope that they come up with a logo other than the W. I I, I mean, the, the, the name is, commanders can be worked with. And, and, and I, do, yeah. I do see that there's uh, multiple possibilities that you can go with. I think that they put something out today and they're going to they're going to work with not only with hearing the fans out, not saying that they're going to go with what the fans are saying, but they're going to hear it out and they may implement one or two things that they hear from the fans, but they might create their own. Well, I I do tend to think that there's something. They might accept some input, you know, because to just form their thoughts. There were people that didn't like the strikes. I really think that they tried to appease the entire fan base not based on age, but just the entire fan base. Okay, the older crowd, they like the stripes. The the younger crowd doesn't, There's you know, a purpose likes the, the helmet, likes the numbers. So again, I think that they tried to implement as much as they could for that. And I respect that. But the execution of it, it's not there today. Hopefully later on down the road, it will be. Um, and, and, and it is what it is. The only thing that, that obviously that we can do is if we choose to continue to to keep rooting for this team then we start it's all over now 
name is over we got it this yeah. is who we are for the next eight years we'll all be dead yeah, before well, we're, they're not going to change the name again right so no. let's think about what we're going to do on the football field to change the culture and and, that's the most important. and that's what's bothers right me though is dan always thinks that everything is a quick fix okay yeah from day one everything is a quick fix Okay, yep. the free agency the moves, play. I respected it because he wanted to win Super Bowls, but it didn't work. It didn't and work. it took a long time for him to get away from that concept, right, of what didn't work. And then he tried to go other ways. I respect it because he try, he, he he takes too long is the problem. He, he tried by too- hiring Bruce Allen. And okay, then he didn't I get realize that. how bad that was for well, 10 that's years. A, it was a terrible, but when Bruce Allen years. got hired, then we were all kind of on board with that because we're sure. like, all right, a football mind. Sure. A sure. football mind who's used he to He built doing a couple this. of Super Bowl champions, right. Right. But at the end of the day of all of this, everything is so short-sighted with Dan. Everything is a Band-Aid with Dan. It's the reason why we don't have a fucking quarterback. It's the it's, reason it's the why... Money. We're in the position that we're in now. And so I do see the point of view of fans that say, well, nothing will ever change with it, as Dan is the owner. Well, they're not wrong. And here's why. Because, again, they have no other experience. here's Dan. Oh, everyone hates me uh, because of the, the name. And now I'm going to get financially pressured into changing it. I'm going to make everyone think that I actually care about people in the Native Americans insight. He never cared about that to begin no, with. He never cared about right. shit. But, but of course, that's the narrative that gets put out there. And even my stupid ass was out there saying it because I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. But you want it to be day, true because it's the good thing to be. You want It's the good to thing to right. be. You want but you realize you got right. an owner that's just not a good person. Right. right. And, right. and that's the way it is. And uh, I'll say that to his face. If I ever had the opportunity, I'd be like, bro, you're not a good person. Don't okay? look him in the eye. You He'll try to be. Security will escort you out. Right. You try to be a good person, but you're going about it all the wrong ways, man. And I don't know who's advising you, but they all, they all need to continue to be fired because here's the I got deal. rich by ripping people off. Did, did he That's think how he got that rich. by doing this and, and, and us getting a new name and all of these changes – Oh, the fan base, they're going to eat it all. Well, they are because guess what? People hate the name, but they're still buying the fucking merchandise. I talked to several people, several people in the DMs, right? That are like, they're like, what's your opinion? I give them my opinion, right? And then they're telling me, yeah, I kind of agree with you. And then I find out they buy a a hoodie and and a hat. I'm not telling people not to buy anything, Dude, but I'll tell you what, don't sit there and tell me in one day that you don't like the W, but here you are buying merchandise. Bro, you're because she if it's your team, she, right? See, that's the thing. And Snyder knows, and I mean, that's part of the NFL in itself. If you're a fan of the team, I like I, I'll buy a ball cap, even though I think that W looks stupid. I'm gonna buy my ball cap. My my See, my, my last w, ball cap just came today. That w all up in the front of the hat, like you could have made that. A I, 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 I might buy one of those I, black jerseys, maybe. Listen, I'll buy a I'll buy a blue. and I'll tell you she, what, thanks and to I will Tito's too. Eventually, bodies, I'll become these a sheep. jokes are funnier. <laughs> and eventually i'll become a sheep too i guess just my it's point is is we're sheep. not doing any favors because people are like oh does, they're all going to the store and stuff and look i'm not telling people not to be excited i'm not telling people don't buy merchandise like that's just stupid right no but right. i guess just what i'm saying is is like take a little bit of time what you're doing is is you're showing this owner that Can you believe people lined up in, at seven o'clock in the morning to stand I, outside? I can the team because store. listen, yeah. there's people uh, that yeah. feel differently than I do, and, and, and I'm trying Ooh. to respect that. I'm not trying to trash people for feeling differently than I am for standing in line. Look, they Good just idea. want to be fans Good of the call. football team. They don't care yeah. about this Twitter bullshit. They don't care about the off the field. A lot of them just want, listen. You know, they want listen. Twitter. Well, we are the the people's podcast. And, and, and I'm I, I, I'm go, I'm going to make a revelation right here. Twitter a revelation isn't real I, I, no, it's, it's just not fucking real it's it's, it's, it's a very not. tiny group it, yes, it it, and like i I, I, mean, like, I don't don't think that that you know we're on twitter all of us all three of us we're, sure. we're on twitter quite quite a bit i love it I enjoy yeah it. It, it, and but that's just so that's just a fraction of the fan it's a microcosm base. yeah it is. Keith, it is of the three and of the- us you've got a lot more followers than jesse and i combined Okay, but how many of them do you actually interact with on a regular basis? You it's got like five, extreme, six thousand. It's, it's like been extremely difficult these days, and I got 180 followers just today. Like, but you know what? I, Look, that's not I, my I, exact I, count. I'm just the. It, 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 I mean, it's close because I was I'll just like, what, "Good lord." The people that are that, that follow us on Twitter it's or that follow me on, 
I enjoy talking with them. There's really none of them that I really can't stand. The only way to really get me to block you is to flood my timeline with a bunch of retweeted political bullshit. You're right. fucking out of there. Yeah. But other than that, I, I, I enjoy Twitter much better than other social media because I can I can control the conversation in terms of who I follow and what we're talking about. And the people that we follow mutually, I like them. I like yeah, those yeah. folks. They're all you know, good, they're good people. people. Sure, yeah. sure. Even if I disagree with some of the points that they make here sure. and there, you know, and I might disagree with them about a lot of things that are outside of the scope of football. But that's why I'm on Twitter is to talk football, period. Yeah, yeah. that merch yeah. was available on two, too, because Dan knew he could make money off of this. That's exactly that's, that's the and bottom so, line of everything, though. At Come the on. end of the day, he's now, so cynical. you take all of my I guess you could say anger. I mean, yeah, I'm worked up more than I usually am. I'm not joking. Really? Around. I'm... <laughs> Have a shot of Tito's, Keith. Come well, on. There you go. You take that, right? You take that. And really, at the end of the day, it's not the fans. It's not their opinions on what they feel about it all. It's just the idea of Dan Snyder to me. And I think it took today for me to realize, like, bro, ain't nothing changing. The name change. But Dan Snyder is so naive that – he probably thinks that with this name change and with everything, John, you have a beautiful wife. Um, but with this, uh, and I mean that with all due respect. Um, He's hitting but, on your woman there. He's hitting on your no, woman. No, I'm not now. hitting on her. No, <laughs> I'm just she's saying kidding. she's beautiful is much different than saying, boy, I'd like to fuck your wife. That's a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, she's, a, she's a beautiful young lady. I, I appreciate her because I don't know how she lives with you. But anyways. Um, I have personality, baby. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. I got a personality that, about that thing. All that off the field bullshit is just following right along. Yeah. Right along. So nothing's really changed. And now what's going to end up happening. And I can't say that I disagree with it, but I really, in my, like, in my mind, I want to be like, fuck. but in my heart, just because I want the team to succeed, but I truly believe Dan Snyder when they when they mentioned that whole uh, take a big swing. I can tell you right now in my DMs the shit that I've been getting. Um, I'll put it out there because I don't even care. I don't know if it's true or not. Um, that's why I didn't do the parrot because I'm you know nothing solid. But uh, Aaron Rodgers last season was their number one. They were immediately told no that he's staying in Green Bay, and they immediately switched to Matthew Stafford. And well, Matthew you know Stafford because. So That's this the, year, this is what Dan Snyder is going to try to do. He's going to take that old ass quarterback who, yes, is great. But at the end of the day, look at his, his whole entire history and his record. Eh, is he? I mean, really? He's a regular it, it, season king is what yes, he is. Yes. And yes, he is great. He is an elite quarterback. And I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to question, you know, what he did with Green Bay. Hell, he did more in two seasons than we've seen in 30 years. So with that being said, the pro his age, there's no long-term with him, right? But Dan Snyder's mind, my point is in Dan Snyder's mind, he's going to dangle, try to dangle that shit to the fans and we're all going to suck it up because we're tired of that, fucking baby. losing. And then that's in his mind, he's like, hey, I'm going to get them their quarterback. They're going to love commanders and they're not going to care about uh, some round table discussion going on uh, on two tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow on Thursday. And, right. and and that's the mindset that has been 30 years. Has he been here 30 years? 22. How long is he? Huh? 20, 22, 22, 23, 23, 22, 23 years. almost 23. Years, that's yeah. the 23 years or 22, almost 23 years of mindset of what this guy has put his fucking fans through. And I'm right. Done. I'm tired of it. You're a hundred percent correct. What Dan Snyder's main function idea is, is that give them something to sell me tickets, give them something to give them hope. All right. Now, He's a he's a fan. He's been a big fan. He used to sit in the stands for all those years and everything like that. That's wonderful. That's great. But you know what talks to Dan Snyder? Fucking money. He sees his stadium. He sees how empty it is. And again, for all you people that seem to think that this has anything to do with people's feelings, why we changed this team's name, get the fuck over yourself, you goddamn fucking immature twit. Where have you been? Nothing changes because of feelings. Nothing changes because of feelings. Things change because of money. 
and Dan has lost a fuck ton of it with this fucking football team. I'll remind everybody again, when he bought them, they were the third most valuable sports franchise in the world. They are now 19th. And if you think about the terms of how much money that is, it's hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. The last year, we watched his business partners do everything they could, including illegally slandering him to try to get him out. You don't do that if you're making money, right? Yeah. You don't. You don't do that if you can agree with what's going on. So uh, Snyder, I, I don't disagree with you that he'll try to take that big swing. I think the difference is, number one, Rodgers, if it's Rodgers, which I, I, I would doubt that, you know, Green it's, Bay still holds it, it, it's going to be Russell. They, it's going to be Russell Wilson. Agree. It's going to be Russell. They'll take Wilson. a swing at Russell Wilson. And believe me, if they take a swing at Jimmy Garoppolo, I again, no. it, it, shit and in look, a box I, I, and I, mail it to him. I, I want to go off that point just real quick. It, even though we know Dan Snyder is saying this for money, but on the football side of it, um, this has to be correct and, and true for Ron Rivera. He's got to build a, 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 a He's got to build a consistent winner, not just sure. a fucking flash in the pan that's going to sell tickets. Sure, and and, and, and that's why you know Russell Wilson still has time left. In, you know, it, you know, at least probably four or five years. I think Rodgers does too. You know, uh, if you don't get maybe, hit, he doesn't but, get hit. But the fact of the matter is, uh, Ron's got to fi- figure out something this year as yeah. far as the quarterback goes. I know we're getting yeah. a little bit off topic as far as you no, know no, no. With, with, uh, with the business, but that kind of intermediate. We're organic with today, what. Today. With what Dan Snyder was saying, uh, you know, that was about money. Uh, but the fact that even though that was about money, what he's saying was, wasn't was not true. It's, it's absolutely true. They, they have to attempt to get that quarterback this year. They have to attempt to get Russell Wilson. And that's, that's the quarterback they have to. Even though I don't think there's much of a chance to get him, they have to try. And they have to, they have to try a, a, a real, real attempt in, in doing right. that and, and not be – quiet about it they need to let fans because they got to let the fans know ron's got to let the fans know that hey they are doing everything that they can to get that guy under center um even though it's probably going to miss you know what i mean tell you right now they're going to throw everything that they can to try to obtain russell wilson yeah okay and that is because they literally just released a new name, new brand, new everything. They want, yeah, they and want they that. They now face. have got yeah. to have that toy quarterback and and to maybe, bring the fans back. And because maybe, they know right now, they know right now, fans, a lot of us ain't, ain't happy about a lot of things. And There's maybe the whole right spots. Look, maybe, dude, we went on a four game winning streak, and the the, the stadium was still half empty. Ma- and then maybe we, this we re- Cowboys fans. Maybe this rebrand might. You know, uh, maybe Russell Wilson likes the name Commanders. Who knows? Maybe that will tweak it enough for him to actually want to come here. I think that Dan Snyder has enough of what will make anybody want to come here, and that's money, because I don't think they give a shit about the name. And some of these people that are saying, why would Sierra want to come to Washington? Look, dopey, there's airports here, you know? Uh, you true. can go the fuck anywhere. I just no don't. Time I at just all. don't think Russell wants to come here. And I know people are like, "Well, his hometown's Richmond." Yeah, sure. You know what? That's fucking thirty minutes away from me. Okay, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Russell nah, Wilson, right now, I think he wants, he wants to, to go, go win win a Super Bowl. Yeah, right. And I'm honestly you're, looking you're, at us, especially if you think about what our draft choices might be or how we might work with free agents, because we should be buyers this year. We 100%. got plenty of money. Plenty of we money. Got plenty of money and plenty of cap space. And right. somebody like Russell Wilson, we bring him in and we give him a new contract. We can push some of that down the, down the street a little bit. I think that the potential to win is starting to grow here. Sure. I don't think the name or the rebrand is going to matter much, except for the few little fucking social warriors that are going to say, I didn't want to be associated with a name like that. And I think those people are few and far between. Um, you know, I'm going to shift gears a little bit. I did notice in that picture of the, of the alumni, I, today which i thought was a good picture because i do like those jackets and i want one but um so there's two there was not a dan's of alum there's two different i like versions. the one with the the gold the gold sleeves but the white sleeve would look pretty good too yeah. you won't get the I gold like the, sleeve then now they yeah, could like the, put them eventually in production uh, so so you now. can get the um the white sleeved one they had them on good morning oh, football okay this morning. Right. they'll be available i like the white sleeve that's not bad but and when i was a little kid you know, like when we went to our first Super Bowl, those jackets were as popular as you couldn't believe, man. Everybody had one of those, oh, yeah. not necessarily a Redskins jacket. Well, I lived up closer to Philadelphia at that time. But, uh, Keith, you know where uh, Newtown Square is? Yeah. In Pennsylvania? Yeah, mm-hmm. I lived there when I was oh, a kid. Oh, you did live there? Yeah, I did. I, I lived there until I was about 10. It's a nice little area out there. It is nice. But 
man, I could tell you some stories about uh, John DuPont and some of the shit that went on there. <laughs> uh, you remember John DuPont? He's the guy that went crazy and shot that wrestler and then holed himself up. And they had to dig him out for about three days. Anyway, that's a whole other story. But uh, I lost my point completely. Jesse, please tell us what's just going on in your hairy brain. Oh, no. Did you, uh, Keith, you were going to say something in the middle of. Yes, uh, let's just what? throw it to Keith. No, he oh, he, what, he was. I was tweeting at somebody. But. um. Oh, so again, this is not an aha, I told you so, or oh, I know inside information. So apparently this circle that we talked about, one of the things that I tweeted back at camp was one commander in chief. And I tried to tie in the both and get people to understand why that could be a potential possibility. I also mentioned the family crest, a family yeah. crest being a family shield. Mostly. What do you put in a family shield? You put history. Well, yeah. that's per Michael Phillips tweet. That is what Jason is calling that. Yeah. It is yeah. a, crest so again this is not a haha uh you know but again people that's what logical thinking does it's not that i got any inside information i you just put two and two together you just put two and two together and yes there were some things after i said it there were some people that reached out to me and they're like damn bro you are spot on (laughs) who told you and i and i simply replied back nobody told me anything if that's what yeah. and, and and the people that were telling me you're spot on were people that were involved which is why i will not accept the hat from rio robinson because that's why i stayed remaining strong when it got closer rio to, owes you a hat well so here was the deal at camp rio robinson 91 go you can look at him at, at twitter and yell at him but Rio's a great guy. He, Rio's, Rio made a bet with me. He swore up and down it was going to be Red Wolves. And I said, Mm-mm, it's going to be Commanders, and here's why. And there will be a video, which I, I didn't articulate, but apparently I, I didn't remember anyone recording, but he did. There's a video of me explaining all this shit right there, right? But back then, nobody was wanting to hear it because everyone was on the Red Wolves ba- bandwagon. So the bet with Rio was... If it's Red Wolves, that I'll buy a Dak Prescott shirt and I'll have to wear it to one. You know, I'll have to wear it. I was actually going to take it up. Were we were we sitting in the uh, in that chicken place eating uh, lunch when that bet took a uh, place? No, that bet actually took place in the at the VIP tent. Okay, I thought we were. I thought we're eating. All of us were eating lunch when when. Now we were probably still talking about it then. See what I heard from outside of this bubble was that Jason was going to tell the real information to the guy who swallows and doesn't spit. (laughs) (laughs) That's what everybody will. That's what everybody will get out of this, you know, if they listen to the podcast. (laughs) I've tried to humbly like say. But I've had a lot of people get in my DMs today and they're like, dude, you were spot on. And I'm like, thanks. You know, I'm keeping it home. You had to guess between two. Well, right? it, it, well and here's the thing. Way. So back to the bet. It was, I would wear a Dak Prescott t-shirt and I would actually wear it to one of our home games. Right? Um, him, it was, gloves too. him, it was just, you know, we'll buy the Dak Prescott and, and wear it. Well, then he, of course, after he started believing that it was going to be commanders, when commanders took a final push at the end, he's like, no, I ain't, I'm not wearing a, Bre- you know, Dak Prescott. And I'm like, fine, then just buy me a new hat or something. <laughs> buy me a, a new yeah. commander's hat. Well, Rio chickened out. Rio definitely chickened out. But Damn, Rio. I know. I'm really disappointed in you, Rio. I am too. I, you know, that's just well, you should a make, bet yeah. is a bet. Uh, make a little teaser however, of this right here, to, so we can However, post it. I'm not going to make him pay up on that <laughs> bet. I'm not going to make him pay up on that bet because there were a lot of things that made me feel confident afterwards after I put that info out there. But again, no one cared because they were on the Red Wolves bandwagon. They didn't want to hear nothing that I had to say because at the end of the day, I'm just a guy on a couch and I get that right. No problem. So are they. And, and, And here I will straight up say up until yesterday when those late night, you know, or early evening leaks were coming out, I was kind of uncertain, like, maybe I'm getting hoodwinked. Maybe this is misdirection, which I thought is great with Jason because Jason ain't dumb. Jason knows that 
this was going to happen, the sleuthing and all of that. So they did play that misdirection. Then people are like, well, they failed to blur out on the making the brand. No, they didn't. They put that out there to get feelers and soft, to rip band-aids. It's a soft landing. 100%. Yeah, no, no feelers. They weren't going to change it at that point. Yeah. Well, right. But then, you know, last night kind of ruined it for everyone, for people who yeah. really cared about watching today. I, but my point is, is that, I even doubted it. So you're not going to see me. Some people. You're not going to see me out there like, ha, I knew it all. I knew everything. I mean, yes, it sounds like I'm coming off that way, but I'll be the first one to tell you. Up until yesterday, up until then, I'm kind of like, eh, maybe they're hoodwinking me. Who knows? I don't know. They did a good job. They They did a very, very good job of keeping it close to the vest for as long yeah. as they did and right. and some people are are blaming the team and telling uh, saying this is more of a shit show because they couldn't keep the name quiet because a who fucking cares? helicopter fucking flew cares? yeah who's an affiliate <laughs> an affiliate of the same station that they were yeah, going to do the announcement on right fucking i, I, I mean listen Jason, why Wright. is it so fucking important that you fly a helicopter over there to try to find out? This is what kills me. People, get a fucking grip. This is entertainment. This, okay. Uh, this is happens, all this man. is. We love Jason it. Jason mentioned but that it's during the show. He yeah, mentioned he the whole should. 48 hour sleuthing that was going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. But they had fun with us, and that's fine. And I I, I think the people sure that are mad about it. But, but the people are mad and bad think the team. They need to get up. a grip. It's it's ridiculous, man. It I, I, I mean, for the they kept us guessing. Okay, we had an idea. It was fun. They kept us guessing for two fucking years. Right. It was fun. And you know these people that get so bent out of show. Oh, it's gonna be Red Wolves. I'm gonna fucking come after you if it's not Red Wolves. I'm gonna tell you it's Red Wolves. Oh. Uh, I'm canceling my single uh, season Dude, tickets. Get so I'm a not goddamn gonna buy them. fucking hobby, something else, because you are way too into this. All right, it's not yeah. the end of the world. It's not even real life. It's television, and that's all it is. I mean, yeah. you might go to the game, but let's face it, the NFL is a fucking TV show. I, I just, right? I, I don't. I, I, I'm pretty honest about this team, my feelings, and I think I'm it, sure. what, what I say is is pretty realistic at, at most of the time. Um, but the heat that's coming on Jason Wright, I I I, I think it's people crap, are, people man. Are and ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous, and, and uh, uh, this is not me. When 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 I see the team fucking up. I, I will admit it and say, sure, I'm not going to, it's nothing off of your nose. Yeah. You're just, but, you're an observer. That's your entire role. But, but, but the shit that Jason Wright has gotten um, over this yeah. whole ordeal, I, I think is unfair. I um, and uh, I, I think for what he's working with and what he's, what he came into and what he's had to do, I think he deserves a round of applause and, and a pat on the back um for keeping his fucking shit his own shit together you know because like <laughs> you look that, at that so picture of all gotta this. be a tough fucking job what he's done man i like you, seriously look it, at the picture seriously. of all the alumni wearing their jackets and he doesn't have one but he's on the end and he's wearing that superman pose he's got that hand on the hip he's got that fucking superman pose Jason did it, did as much as he could as yeah, best as he could. Yeah, that's that's and what I'm saying. Fine, you got to realize the extent of shit for him to clean up. His All boss right? is and Dan Snyder. I, I mean, yeah. that should say enough right fucking there. And, well, and frankly, most of these fans of ours that 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 realize or that take this so seriously need to just fucking get a goddamn life for fuck's sake. It's not I, that big of a fucking deal. I don't care how many people want to tell me, oh, but I got family and oh, tradition. Blah, 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 blah. What the fuck ever? It's something you watch on your yeah, television so do on I. Sunday. So do That's I. It. So do I. You know, and, so go ahead, Keith. life goes on. And earlier when I said I agree, I know you know about the whole Jason thing. I know it sounds like I'm flip flopping. I, you I know, know. To, you to my the worst person, flip flopper. I know that, yeah. I know that it sounds like I'm flip flopping <laughs> to my argument that Wobbler. my that i had earlier we're not, not going to ha- all ad- agree with his decision no, just not no. Happen. i didn't no. agree with the it sean is. taylor decision and, he, and and he's aware of that he, but yeah. he also did give me the respect in that right you know when when i had tweet now they when i had that. tweeted to him like listen you, you gotta put redskins somewhere in there you can't retire him as a washington football team dude i and, saw a jersey out there today i know a, a taylor jersey with and dude, that's just you can't if, do that he he came back to me and he said he came back to me and he said 
they're not going to say football team. They're just going to say Washington legend or whatever it was that they said, but the, it was Washington. He didn't have to do that. I'm, maybe it was already in their plans. It's not like I gave him the bright idea of it. I'm not trying to say that. I'm not trying to come off that way either. So I want to be respectable. I don't Good necessarily luck with that. agree with everything that he has done so far, but I want to be respectable at the same time with it. And yes, it does because the man did open his door to me and, and he didn't have to do that. And that's something that I can take with me for the rest of my life that, that in that moment, he's not going to be the team president forever. In fact, he, he's going to, he's probably going to be the new commissioner once Roger Goodell's out. That's the, that is, yeah, I don't think people realize that they don't realize how smart this guy is. Well, oh, he's yeah. 38 yeah. years old, but I'm telling you, Dude, if, if you're people, talking to people on social media, nobody's smarter than they are. If people don't listen to me, that's fine. <laughs> but listen to me when I tell you next commissioner is going to be Jason, Wright. That's uh, Roger Goodell's boy. 100%. Those are facts. I don't care what anyone says. Those are facts from a lot of things that I've learned this he, year. Didn't he put him here? Didn't didn't yes. Roger put him here? Yes. Say, yes. We're, he, you're he taking was, our he was, guy. Because yes. you're he was placed here. So bad. Yeah, he was policed here, 100%. But the one thing that he did that many other team presidents don't do is he did talk to fans. He did reach out. It's not exclusive to just me. Now, sitting in his office was, and I appreciated that. Um, what about but, the, butt, the butt rub? Was that was that just you? <laughs> that was 100% appreciated. The butt pack? No, yeah, that was probably just me because I, I do have a sexy man ass. But well, it's probably hairy as all get out. I'm just trying to be respectful. I'm not happy with some decisions. I'm not happy with perception of certain things, but I'm trying to be respectful. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. And it may seem like, oh, he's out there raw, raw. And again, no, I'm raw, raw for a charity. I'm raw, raw for pediatric cancer, because at the end of the day, Twitter is a great platform to talk to people, to bring awareness and people are cool and are just donating their money. And they're really helping us out in this you know in this sense to also help families it's it's a it's not a hog farmer effort it is literally a fan base effort and people have been extremely cool with this whole situation and are they're a part of this too and even though they're not getting the camera time they're not getting the pictures they're not getting to do certain things but Changes are going to come to that because I do, me personally, I want other people to experience some of the things that I've experienced and it can be done, you know, and, and it will be done, you know, and it's going to be the circle of people that we've been, you know, associating with and everything. And like I said, I still stand on everything that I say, but also at the same time, I want to stay respectful. And if I do ever have an opportunity to not sit in an office, but to have a, a quick conversation, everything I'm saying on today's podcast, I would legit say to that man's face. And you know why? Because the one thing that he's told me, the one thing that Joey Colby Begovich has told me is one thing about you, Keith is that you'll speak your mind and you're not afraid to do it. You, you might be strong on your opinions, but we respect that. And so as long as I'm respectful to people, I don't have to agree with them, but as long as I'm respectful, then that's the way it's going to be moving forward. But I'm not going to, I don't get paid by the team to sit there and say, yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to sit there all day long. If something's trash, it's trash and it stinks. And I ain't going to sit there and smell it. And I'm going to say it. And I know pe there's people out there that want me to say more. And I'm not going to, because at the end of the day, I do respect these people. People as best as I can. Need, people need to get a perspective on what this actually is. And they want you to go in there. These folks that are talking to you, they want you to go in there. And they want you to trash things and start talking shit. And it's like, come on, man. Get some perspective on this. Do, do people show up at your job and start talking shit about what you do? Exactly. No, they, they don't it's 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 entertainment and as much as i love it and as much as i will not miss it on sunday you better damn sure well know where i'm gonna be yep. it's but that's what it is at the end of the day it is not something that actually seriously affects your life if they win or they lose one way or the other and i mean people they get to themselves that, that they owe are owed something personally and you're not you're just I'm not, not owed nothing no, you're not. You you tune in and you become a fan voluntarily. And if you don't like it, get the fuck out. 
There you go. That's it. That's it. You know, and That's by it. the way, coming to that point, all of these people that are fucking posting today about how I'm leaving. Get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. I don't even need to See, know yeah. you're fucking leaving. Jesus effing Christ, for God's sakes, you it's goddamn whining said, bitch. In the beginning, I questioned whether I could continue to be a fan. And then when but you figured it out, you yeah, know right. why you're here. It's you're here because you like the football. Well, I'm also here because I was able to be open to other people's perspectives instead of being the angry guy who's mad because uh, a culture mob, man, this ain't the culture mob's fault. This is Dan Snyder's fault because yes, he could have done a That's better right. job at That's representing right. that name and logo. And he did a piss poor job doing it. And then he gave in to financial corporate pressure. And here that. we are today. We all know this. This ain't a secret. This, ain't this ain't the first time pressure. someone's heard it. All, all these fucking people that are telling me, oh, it's sponsors, Walmart and Amazon. No, at Walmart and Amazon make their deals with NFL properties. And you ain't going to the NFL properties nah, and say, well, we'll sell 31 teams, but not them. Because the soon NFL as is FedEx not. FedEx said it and not, Nike. FedEx, fucking FedEx. Let me tell you about something FedEx. Okay. FedEx has a, a, a lease on the name of the stadium that lasts another three fucking years. Yeah. They Fred paid, Smith can but, kiss my ass. What they paid yeah. back in 2000 is pennies today. So right. if they want to run away for their last goddamn fucking three goddamn years, I don't think that there's going to be a problem finding a sponsor. And if there is so fucking what you don't need a sponsor for the stadium. Snyder, you owe people owe you enough money. Walmart, uh, Amazon, these they're, they're, they're fucking grandstanding. You know, uh, these are, all right, I'm going to get real world for a second here. If you really want to know where Walmart and Amazon stand on all of these issues that they're oh, oh we are standing with the native Amer bullshit this all came about over the, the 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 summer where all of the unrest happened the racial unrest happened but you could go on both walmart and amazon they pander. And you, can buy, you can buy black lives matter t-shirts and you can buy i back the cops t-shirts they're not taking any fucking stand whatsoever on the important shit they're going after the low-hanging fruit which yeah. is this so that they can appeal to a demographic of younger people who are more and more throughout our lives making their decisions based on fucking optics and politics and you want to know why because somebody in this country decided 30 years ago that everything needs to be politicized yeah. well, this is what you broke this is what you built okay you've got a uh, you everybody that's under the age of 30 aside from not having any witty tradition with the redskins are now making decisions based on that shit so you get walmart and amazon and they go well that's a lot of people and those are the people that we want to attract because they're going to be having kids and they're the next generation coming up so they say we don't like the redskins thing we're not going to sell them even though legally they can't and nike by the way what do they make equipment jerseys Jerseys, they make yeah. fucking uniforms. They can't yeah. tell the NFL we're going to make 31 uniforms, um, but not theirs. Yeah, because the NFL will tell them, go fuck off. We'll call Adidas. Yeah, the yeah, NFL they, they, is they, not this little tiny company that doesn't that gets pushed yeah. around. Yeah, Nike right? makes They're makes not. makes jerseys and they make they make the actual apparel too, like the uh, shirts go. and stuff like that. Because they, 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 the NFL and Nike they have a deal. Uh, yeah. to, what do you think? Yeah. It's a contract. Adidas would like a yeah. piece of that, right? Right. So yeah. they're just grandstanding. And these fucking yeah. idiots, they don't realize that. They think everything's got to do with feelings. Nothing has to do with feelings. No, Nobody gives a fuck about anybody's money. fucking money. feelings. Money, and the money, reason money, why money. it's about money is because of how much Dan has lost. He has lost. You think our stadium is empty because we're losing? Well, yes, it is. But do, what do you think that represents? Money. Yep. Money that went up to Baltimore for a winner. This has been People's the realest podcast. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's fucking real. We are this having is the real realest job. podcast. And I have to tell both of you gentlemen, just from all of this conversation, this is the best fucking conversation I've had. And I didn't have to laugh at all. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Because uh, it's, 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 it's all uh, like truth. I, you know I what? Think... People, they say, why don't the Chiefs have to change their name? You know why? Because they don't lose money. All right. They don't lose money. And exactly. the closest team you can drive to to go see is 500 miles away from them. The yeah. closest team you can go see from us is 50 miles away, and they win. And in all you honesty, see how this works? in all honesty, too, their logo is an arrowhead, which was not exclusive to nope. Native Nothing. Americans. And, and the word chief Chiefs is, is a not European an indigenous word. word, which I learned yeah. back at camp right. when it, I was researching. Right. That that term was actually given to them by, by the Europeans. Europeans. Right. Right. Yeah. Who's your leader? So, what, so, and then here was the thing. So they added a second sponsor to Arrowhead Stadium. And yeah. the idea was, is that it could still be, it's still going to be called Arrowhead because no, they don't have Arrowhead to change it. Right? right. So there's, there, there's a secondary name. And what they were hoping for is that people would use that secondary name over Arrowhead. Yes. But 
Fuck, no, these it, last it, games that I saw, they used both. Yeah. So ain't right. nothing changing. Arrows they were won't invented have to in change. China, right? Arrows were invented in fucking And their China. mascot is a wolf. Yeah. I think... I it, it. But Native the, Americans don't own the wolves. So no, guess wolves, what? Wolves, you look in any, any religion ancient religions i'm talking about ancient cultures the wolf is prominent and the reason yeah. why is because if you lived in ancient ancient times the wolf would come into your fucking hut and steal your baby or kill your kids or whatever well wolf was a terrifying thing and they were everywhere all right so they are prominent in all of these ancient cultures in all of their mythologies they're either gods or they're protectors or they're evil but right. they're throughout all of them. It's no, the, the Native Americans have no call over that. They're and just another listen, one in a long line. And the culture mob don't care about the chiefs. Fuck them. The they don't care about the chiefs. And, and that's what I'm saying. It wasn't the Native Americans that got our names changed. Yeah, they were complaining no, it about it for many years. Money. It was money. 100%. Money. So it, people that are like, oh, chiefs are next. Mm, no, they're not. And yeah, I know I put out there change you know, not my mascot or change the name. I deep down inside know that ain't happening. It's just, I'm petty. And right. so I'll be petty. <laughs> yes. Okay. Hold on a second. My dogs are yapping. Well, listen, guys, I got to roll out. All right, man. Whoa. Yeah, that was a good podcast, I think, gentlemen. Uh, we are the People's Podcast. The People's Podcast. The People's Podcast. Yeah. There you go. And we, don't need, way- we don't need guests. We just talk truth. Established right. in 2021, yo. <laughs> That's right. All right, y'all. Uh, we'll, see y'all. we'll see y'all. We'll see y'all next week. Take, take command. command. Commanders out. Commanders.